Hey guys, welcome back to Turner's Turn Up. In today's video, we're going to take you on a review of our inside cabin room on the MSC Seaside. And we're going to tell you guys some tips and let you know our honest opinion. Okay guys, we're going to give you a brief cabin tour. For this cruise, we chose uh, just the inside cabin. We're going to be on land a lot. And that was our determining factor for uh, just doing an inside cabin because we're going to be in Nassau tomorrow all day. And we're going to be at the private island for two days. And we are excited to have doors because a lot of our cruises, uh, a lot of the cruises that we've been on, we only had a curtain and uh, you can only imagine what kind of trouble that can be as the ship is moving and water is spilling all over the floor and it can kind of be a messy nightmare. Inside of the shower there is, you see there's some toiletries there. I'm sure that's shower gel and shampoo. I think that's really cool and I do like that shower head. Okay, there's your toilet, your sink. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. I'm excited about it. Now, I do want to say this is an inside cabin. This On this cruise, we're going to be in uh, on land a lot. Tomorrow, we're going to Nassau. For the next two following days, we will be at Ocean Key for two days. And that's one of the reasons why we did select this cruise, because we wanted to experience an island at night. So, this is our room. When you first come in, you will have your kind of have your little uh, welcome letter also this is your mini bar order form if you take anything from the mini bar these are your prices and it's really not as bad as I thought it would be but hey it's it's convenient okay you also have a lot of the literature that you need just to keep you informed about things that's going on on the ship uh, and any orders that you may need now this is was waiting for us and I really want to thank MSC Seaside. This is a part of our uh, package. We are Diamond members. So if you're a Diamond member, you do tend to get a complimentary bottle of champagne to enjoy. So that was really cool. Now we've been out sail away party all over the ship. Uh, so the ice that was in there has melted, but we still think that is so nice. That's so cool. Okay, and we also have an ice bucket there. This is our television. Uh, the safety drill, most of it was done on the television. And after that, we had to go and meet them at our designated, uh, I guess, emergency station. So that was pretty cool, too. That was very convenient. We just had to come inside of the room and watch it on TV. Then we call down and uh, just let them know that we had completed our drill. On the bed, we have two beach towels here. And we also have a daily program. But the app has been very helpful for us. We've been able to schedule all of our activities and uh, dinner on the app. But this is a cool touch. I just love to see all of the logo, you know, all of the uh, logo material. I think it's really nice and it kind of adds to the excitement of the cruise. So here on the bed, you have two side tables. And they're really small. So, I mean, in all honesty, this is the smallest room we've ever been in. So. We're gonna see what it does, but we don't intend to be in the room for a long time on this cruise because we've got a lot of things planned in Nassau and the same at Ocean Key. But this is our inside cabin, MC, MSC Seaside. So we just got back in from breakfast and we have our diamond gift. And it seems like two more spirit <laughs> glasses. We're here uh, in Ocean Key. Oh, this is our chocolate. Chocolate bar. And also, I think they have also, ooh, Prosecco. Okay, they got a bottle of Prosecco. And macaroons. 
thank you, MSC, for our gifts. I didn't get a chance to video the mini bar, but I do want to let you guys know that typically when you go into a room, and we expected to have a refrigerator, but we're new to MSC, so uh, the mini bar was actually locked, which was somewhat surprising to us. So I think like on the second day, we did ask our attendant to unlock the mini bar, and he did tell us that the mini bar is unlocked between the hours of, I think like 9 to 6 p.m. And there's not any hard liquor or anything. Well, not in hours it wasn't. Uh, there was some peanuts up top, uh, chocolate covered nuts. I guess they were fancy. And there's some Cokes, beverages, an assortment of different waters and ginger ale. So we found it helpful for those times when we wanted water or like late at night and we didn't want to leave, leave the cabin for anything. So basically, yeah, because we did not get a drink package on this trip. Um, we just decided to buy whatever we needed or wanted as we went. And that really worked out really well. So that's just a tip for you guys. Look at the, the price of the drink packages. And if you're not big drinkers, I say just pay as you go. That worked out for us. In choosing a cabin type for a cruise, we consider about the length of the cruise and if we have sea days and how many ports we'll stop at. Uh, we were on a cruise one time and I did get a balcony cabin and you know, you guys may know that balcony cabins sometimes can almost double the price of your cruise. If you're flexible, you can always look at your agenda when considering a cabin. So this was a five day, four night cruise and for Three of those days, we were actually docked on land. Embarkation is considered day one. We're at Port Canaveral and we're pretty much getting used to the ship. The second day, we were in Nassau. The third and fourth days, we were actually on their private island. And we really enjoyed that. So you guys, please, if you're not subscribed, I wanna ask you to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you can be notified when we upload our day at Ocean Key. I've been showing you this view because I do wanna point out the design of the ship. Another factor in whether we actually book a balcony cabin is privacy. Privacy is important to us uh, when we're cruising. This video was taken on deck nine and it was actually right outside the buffet area. But as you can see, there are people talking and that's just where we are now. This particular deck runs all the way around the ship. Uh, it's on both sides. That is just the design of the ship. So we were happy that we did not select to get a balcony cabin for this particular cruise. This trip was a last minute getaway for us. So we knew that time wasn't on our side when considering our budget. So for the best deals, we booked using cheapoair.com. All in one place and we saved on our flights and hotels. So if you would like a savings, if you have holiday travel coming up, they are now running their early bird Black Friday special. Using code EARLYBF30, you will get $30 off your fees and flights. Not sure which cruise line is best for you? Check out CruiseCritics.com. At CruiseCritics.com, it's the largest cruise community in the world with over 700 destinations to choose from and reviews. And for the best cruise deals, Use our affiliate links down below when booking your vacations. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you're not a subscriber, we'd love to have you. So hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like and share the video. See you next time.